Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. An amazing feature of Studio One that's often overlooked is Plugin Nap, which can really help you save a ton of CPU processing power and also reduces the risk of dropouts. Now, for some reason, we don't have a dedicated video on this yet on our YouTube channel, which I was quite shocked to see. So let me get right onto that because it's an amazing feature. And if you haven't enabled it yet, you should. Plugin Nap improves, as I said, overall CPU performance and reduces the risk of audio dropouts, especially in large sessions where you're using a ton of plugins. Like for example, this one, this is one of my productions where you can see there's a ton of plugins and also third party plugins on here. And the great thing is that Plugin Nap is going to help me significantly reduce that system load. So right now you can see the CPU meter without Plugin Nap is at 50%. You can see that if you click here at the bottom left of the transport bar where you can see the performance meter. This opens up the performance monitor. And as soon as I hit play, that percentage is going to go up even more because all of these plugins on all channels start processing audio. And before I show you what plugin nap is, let me just enable it. And let's see what it does after a few seconds. Turn it off again. So you can see there's a difference of almost 10% processing. What is happening exactly in the background? Well, to see that, we click here on this tick box to show devices. And what Plugin Lab does is it pauses essentially any plugin that does not process any audio for more than a couple of seconds. And you can see that it's indicated by this moon icon here. And from that moment onward, this napping or pause plugin is not taking up any more CPU resources until the channel is going to output audio again. Right, you can see these three plugins down here suddenly got set to enabled, but when I hit stop, they will nap again in just a moment. Right? So that's super handy and it works for third party plugins too, as I said. Now, if there's a plugin that doesn't really behave nicely when you use Plugin Nap, some of them might produce a crackle or dropout as soon as they're switching, then you can just disable Plugin Nap for that specific plugin. So you can still use Plugin Nap even if some of the plugins don't work nicely with it. Um, these settings here are actually remembered globally across all of your sessions, so you just have to set that once. Super convenient. You can also do this from the plugin manager. So if you open the browser here and you go to the home tab and then to the plugin manager, you can also adjust the plugin app setting for every plugin right from here. You can also right click plugins here from the effects browser to enable or disable plugin app. And as I said, these settings are remembered globally across all of your songs. So there you have it. If you haven't used plugin app yet, it's an amazing feature to reduce CPU processing in all of your sessions. So hopefully this is helpful. Thank you for watching.